Good morning, friends. You're signing into the Biology Brain Buffer. Welcome to the Doubt Class 7. I have prepared one question regarding the overall function of the brain, limbic system, and some aspect of the human brain. So, we have learned some major functional aspect of the brain, and many of the portion is still a mystery. You know, some action, day-to-day -day action is directly regulated by the brain and some some action is still not under our control for example when you are breathing at the sleeping stage it is not under your control the digestion process and there are so many physiological process that is triggered by the brain but that is not direct under the control of our emotion so we have a question here in the column a we have some set of terms and words that we have to match with the column b so we shall follow a reverse technique to understand the function of the brain first we record these words and later when we'll study the brain function we will just put a little bit more stress on those regions like corpus callosum limbic system rhinocell memory and communication means they are uh, trying to ask you which part of your brain is association area that uh, somehow associated with the memory and uh, communication that is neither sensory or motor in part we'll understand that one corpora quadrigemina cerebral aqueduct and the brain stem so if we just really take the sagittal section of the brain if we take the sagittal section of the brain the major two part that we are having that is the fore brain and the brain stem but if we go through the ncrt the most important two parts are there fore brain mid mid brain and the hind brain is under the brain stem part so as per ncrt we have three parts that is fore brain mid brain and the hind brain now again the fore brain part that is the major intellectual center that is subdivided into cerebrum thalamus and you can see here hypothalamus cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus these three cth comprises the fore brain regions Correct. Now, when we uh, study the midbrain part, midbrain is located between thalamus, hypothalamus of the forebrain. You can see the midbrain is located in between the thalamus, hypothalamus of the forebrain, and you can see the pons region of the hindbrain. The pons is the part of your hindbrain. The dorsal portion of the midbrain consists mainly of four rounded lobes. So, as we know, uh, the four rounded lobe can be seen and visualized beautifully in this structure that is the corpora quadrigemina so four lobes can be visualized here that is the control visual reflexes and auditory reflexes and that is very equivalent to the structure that is called optic lobe in lower creature lower animals so optic lobe is equivalent to the corpora quadri the word quadri means four so you can see here four lobes are present here and you can see also superior colliculus and inferior colliculus that actually creating the making the structure corpora quadrigemina in the midbrain correct now in the function uh, the structure the hindbrain is comprises with the pcm pons cerebellum and medulla so overall this brain stem is nothing but a structure that is connecting the brain with the spinal cord so this is the overview and you can see here corpus callosum is a nerve fiber that is connecting the left and right hemisphere so it is the uh, longest uh, you can say the nerve fiber that connecting the two hemisphere called corpus callosum and this is one of the major striking feature of the mammalian brain correct this is not for the non-mammalian it is for the mammalian brain you can see here left and right hemisphere and there is a space and if you uh, cut this two hemisphere left and right out, you can see the corpus callosum. And uh, we should not masticate the same information repeatedly that in the, in the cerebrum, you have a fold, sulcus, gyrus. Those are proportionate to, the, to your intelligence, more the folds, more the nerve surface area. So we are not interested to masticate the same information. You all know those facts. Uh, one of the major part, okay, now let's uh, talk about the ventricles because the question was there, that the cerebral aqueduct. The cerebral aqueduct is a you know, that is a scannel, the canal-like structure that is found in the midbrain. So this cerebral aqueduct, the structure, 
is found in the midbrain and this is simply connecting the third and fourth ventricle you can see here third ventricle is here and fourth ventricle is here this is your fourth one so third and fourth is being connected with the cerebral aqueduct so the third is connected to the fourth by the cerebral aqueduct also known as duct of sylvius lateral ventricle one in each hemisphere communicate through the interventricular foramen of monroe but importantly this is for the mammalian brain that we are studying so foramen of monroe you can see here that is connecting the lateral one correct therefore uh, there are four fluid filled cavities so these are all filled with the cerebrospinal fluid fluid that is that point to be no noted located in the brain there are two lateral ventricles third and fourth ventricles correct very important part is the limbic system so the limbic system is one of the ancient part of our brain that is also called the reptilian brain that control regulate our emotion our anger even our friendship so many aspect so this is the one of the core part of our brain so the uh, ring structure or a lobe like structure on the in, inner border of the cerebrum and the floor of the diencephalon so if you go to the core part of the brain like if you little bit go to the core part of the fore brain if i uh, speak specifically so the inner part of cerebral hemisphere and a group of associated deep structure like uh, amygdala hippocampus and you can see here hypothalamus these three are the major three parts of the limbic system so the hippocampus that plays a important role in emotion memory and memory memory in the sense of a long term memory like uh, if there are some noise and some such particular sound frequency that can cause hippocampal resonance that can trigger our very old memory or even past memory amygdala plays a important role in the aggregation amygdala looks like a little bit almond you know almond nut like structure so eating aggression drinking and the sexual behavior is somehow regulated by the amygdala and hypothalamus is a monitor the blood level of the glucose salt uh, the blood pressure hormones like that even it is your heat regulating center fever regulating center hunger that is also regulated by the hypothalamus that is the part of our limbic system so it is a very common in but and you can see the some other aspect like basal ganglia thalamus hippocampus amygdala these uh, some extra part has been included in the limbic system but as per the ncert these are the most three important part so if i if i if, if i study a ring of structure on the inner border of the cerebrum and the floor of the diencephalon constitute the limbic system it main components have a limbic lobe you can study in mbbs later on uh, it includes cingulate gyrus it includes para hippocampal gyrus it contains the hippocampus and so many uh, like dented gyrus in between the hippocampus and para hippocampus uh, hippocampal gyrus so these things are also matter of discussion the main part is the function it controls the emotional behavior expressed in the form of joy sorrow fear friendship fight liking disliking and also called emotional brain like whenever you are uh, listening or um, uh, watching an audio some 10% of the population hit the like button or sometimes they hit the dislike button so that is how they are uh, somehow motivated or emotional uh, that is uh, triggered by this particular video so they hit the liking button means their limbic system is working at that moment and they are emotionally connected to the video it controls food habits necessary for the survival an individual and for the individual it also control the sexual behavior necessary for the survival of the species that is why it is called the reptilian brain because it is important for all species that is existing now we can come to the question that is very important so now you can see here the brain stem that is that is the structure that connects brain brains and the spinal cord so brain and spinal cord is being connected by the brain stem that is very simple question so mid brain and hind brain mainly the hind brain you can see the junction that connects the spinal cord now this part is not yet uh, discussed the rhino cell in rabbit in rabbit there, there is a cavity of olfactory lobe olfactory lobe olfaction means you smelling uh, something 
So olfaction or olfactory lobe is a hollow and called first ventricle or the rhinocell. So this rhinocell is present in the rabbit but not in the human being. It is in the lower animal. So it is absent in the human being. Okay, now corpus callosum, we all know this is the structure that connects, unique feature of the mammal that connects the left and right hemisphere. So it is the unique, unique feature of the mammal. Limbic system comprises amygdala, hippocampus and hypothalamus that is uh, associated with the motivation, pain, pleasure, anger, emotion and fear. So this fear and aggression is associated with the associated with your amygdala part. Next, memory and communication. This part is located in the area of the brain called association areas. So these are neither sensory nor, nor motor part of the brain. So if they are asking which part of your brain is neither sensory or nor, nor, nor the motor part is called uh, the associated areas that is uh, related to the memory and communication. When like you are remembering something from your hard disk of your brain. So that is neither sensory nor motor. Next, corpora quadrigemina. Quadri means four. So that is four rounded lobes in the midbrain. Correct. Now last part is the cerebral aqueduct. As we have studied that third and fourth ventricle is connected by the cerebral aqueduct or aqueduct of Sylvius. So that is the canal in, in the midbrain. So this is how we have to study and solve the questions. Definitely help you to uh, figure out uh, how to answer the uh, brain and the questions regarded uh, associated with the brain. So definitely the next day uh, we will study the respiratory center. So thank you for watching.